What's up you guys? What is going on? It's Jacob here. Welcome back to another reaction video. In today's video we're looking at the 44th by my calcula- yep, 40, yep, 44, 44th best player in the NFL as voted by his peers for the year of 2020. This video came out on July 28th, 2020. The current date is December 23rd. So first and foremost I want to say thanks for being here, but secondly I want to say Merry Christmas. With that being said, let's get into it. At the details, he would say. <laughs> oh, that's the word. There's one word that came to mind that I was trying to say. I was trying to, I was trying to pick it out of my brain. I was going to say, it's the detail, man. It's the detail. I can't say exactly why he said that or what for. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to predict that, but we are going to hear about it. Look at the detail. Look at the details. Look at the detail. To be honest, man, I like Mark Ingram. I really do. He's uh, he's certainly a personality. I've seen him in a few of these other Ravens players' videos. And um, well, with that being said, there's one thing I need to do. Fuck, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh my God, that looks absolutely stunning. Um, now I realise that Mark Ingram is not in a Ravens jersey right there. So following this video, we're going to look up his stats and look up his story. That got me the first time, it got me the second time. Boom! Not only is Mark a good player, but you know his energy off the field is just electric. Yes! <laughs> it's his fucking voice! I'm telling you, it's his voice. It is crack up. If you down, you're not gonna be down for long. I call him MP Juice Man! <laughs> Juice Man! Um, if he down, he ain't gonna be down for long. What a guy. Big drill, pick six shot. We'll go on the bus, go round and round. Do you know what's crack up, bro? I just saw, I didn't see those exact ones, but I did see a lot of clips like that where he's getting his teammates up. And I really enjoyed it. And I, I, I did think that, you know what, at least he's, he's gonna be himself, he's gonna be unapologetically. Mark Ingram. The second or the third? A year since, look at the details. Mark Ingram is back on the top 100 after dropping 15 touchdowns and another memorable catchphrase. What was it? I trust Mark Ingram. Big trust. 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 <laughs> saying it for a while you know even we were here last year as rookies and then Mark Kemp's here and he does the big trust and I guess everybody's on it now. Trust. Big trust. Even baby Yoda on that trust. Yo yo yo. Big trust. What is big trust? Big trust. <laughs> big trust. Woo woo. Lamar Jackson in the flesh. Yes sir. Big trust. <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Ingram compliments the league's MVP on the field, too. Is that Big Trust? Is he calling Lamar Jackson Big Trust? You see how he Mark Ingram. Uh, what, the very first play? In the backfield for the very first play. And he's a running back, too. God, that makes me happy. Ingram has the starting running back with Lamar Jackson. He was not easy to bring down. Yes, boy. Oh, my God. With that personality underneath that helmet, you do want this guy to succeed. Ooh, bowling ball. Not afraid of nobody. I'm gonna have fun watching this guy. The smoke. He looks for the contact. Hey, marking these holes a lot different than what I've seen since I've been with the Ravens. He's a hard-nosed running guy when you combine him and Lamar in the backfield. That obviously makes a defensive coordinator's job a lot oh, more yeah. difficult. Oh fuck you, yeah. go son. Go son. I, he reminds me of a guy called Ma'anonu, one of my favorite ever rugby players. Um, same size, same stature. Same kind of personality, I'm not going to lie. Although I do believe Mark Ingram is more comfortable with it than Ma'anonu because just overall, you know, the person, like the, the, the cap on, 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 a, on a rugby player's personality and their flair and what they can actually say. 
Okay, so this he's a veteran. He certainly is. Five foot nine, two hundred and ten pounds. Twenty eighth pick in the first round of the twenty eleven draft. He played for the Saints. You probably would have thought he'd be a career Saints player, but he he got released to the Ravens. He's made two. Pro, he's made sorry three Pro Bowls. He won the Heisman Trophy. Fucking joking. Mark Ingram Jr. Mark Ingram the second won the Heisman Trophy in two thousand and nine. First team All-SEC, Unanimous All-American, SEC Offensive Player of the Year, Sporting News Player of the Year, SEC Champion with Alabama, he played running back for Alabama. Huh. Now what were we going to check before? Uh, sorry. Let's go back to May 8th, 2018, where he was suspended for the first four games of the season due to violating the policy and performance enhancing drugs. In the end he got let go. On March 13th, 2019, Ingram signed a three-year, $15 million contract with the Ravens. He made his debut with the Ravens in week one against the Dolphins. In that game, he rushed 14 times for 107 yards and two touchdowns, as the Ravens won 59-10. And I assume, in that week, that was when this relationship between Ingram and Jackson was formed. In week 3, he rushed 16 times for 103 yards and 3 touchdowns. In week 9, he rushed 15 times for 115 yards. And at the end of the season, and by the end of the 2019 season, Ingram finished with 1,018 rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns to go along with 26 receptions for 247 receiving yards and 5 receiving touchdowns. So he had a total of 15 touchdowns and just over 1,250 or 1,260 or actually 1265 yards from scrimmage in total for the year. Okay. In the stiff arms of man, in for the touchdown! Five foot nine. Ingram, when he tough under the tackle, he's a ducks under one tackle. Five foot nine. Jumped over another person, got a leg here, scored the touchdown. Touchdown, Mark Ingram! I've never seen that in person. Like, you don't see that in real life. And it's total off time for Ravens fans with their favorite running back. Trust. Big trust! Big trust! Hey, unbelievable! No, you unbelievable! Man, you mean Jimmy... Big, big trust! Who we got now? Jimmy Garoppolo. This should be interesting. Oh, these players are just going to get better and better. Um, big trust. <laughs> Let's just write big trust into Google and see what comes up. Here's what the Ravens big trust means. When Justin Tucker took the podium after Sunday's walk-off 49-yard kick to beat the San Francisco 49ers, he started with this. <laughs> Let's have a look. Like in the spirit of my teammates who have been up here to talk to you guys the last few weeks, I should say something like real inspiring, like big trust. And I'll open it up for questions. Like in the spirit of <laughs> my teammates who have been up here to talk to you guys. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. Um, Okay, but does Tucker know what big trust means? I wish I could tell you with some level of confidence. I could tell you what it means to be me, or it means to me, at least give you my best guess. Really, more than anything, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm the 30-year-old dad now. I don't think I ever was cool, and I'm definitely not cool now. But big trust has become the Ravens' catch catchphrase this season. But what does it mean exactly? I asked a smattering of players around the locker room this week, and I found out that some Ravens don't know, others think they do, but don't, and some aren't willing to share. Okay, we've got a fair few... <laughs> okay, we've got a few, um... A few explanations here, but we do have one by Marquise Brown. I can't speak on it. You've got to ask those boys, Lamar and Mark. So it's got to be something between Lamar Jackson and Mark Ingram. It's a Ravens thing. Quarterback, Robert Griffin III. It honestly originated from a lot of our South Florida guys in our team. And it's for us to know and no one to find out. We've got tight end Mark Andrews. I think it's hard to describe exactly what it means. But I think this city, the energy in this locker room, we all trust each other. Big trust. Jackson said a bunch of people where he's from say it. He didn't come up with it, doesn't know who did, but it's just part of his regular vocabulary, so he's brought it to Baltimore. Jackson said it last year too, but it didn't really go mainstream until Ingram repeated it with his own signature style after the Ravens win over the Texans. That's when it went. Big trust. The MVP frontrunner. If anybody else got to say something different about that, then come see me. I'm right here in Beemore outside the bank. If you got an issue with that, come see me. Okay. <laughs> Trust. Look 
at this guy's eyes. He's a fucking nutter. I love the guy. Anyways, it's time to move on. In the next video, we're looking at Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback for the 49ers. And believe it or not, this guy will always stick in my mind because... Because one of the first videos, or the first top 100 videos I ever watched of the top 100 players of 2018, and that was the first list that I did. And I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, that Jimmy G came in at number 90 on that list. And ever since then, I've been a fan. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, consider liking the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.